if they want to really truly represent him. I mean, because, you know, it's like Jesus is the truth, right? Yeah, um, way the truth in the light, you know. He is the truth, though, you know. And the thing is, what we need to understand that, uh, you know, uh, he is the truth. And we must stand upon the truth of God's word. And the thing is, if we don't understand that the, we, we must represent Jesus Christ, he's the truth, then we will have a difficult time, you know, um, uh, speaking the truth uh, or representing him. All right, but this is a topic of the message is, you know, I'm going to talk about, you know, uh, I've been meditating on, you know, the system of this world we live in. And of course, you know, we're at war. I want, I've been doing a lot of messages that talking about um, uh, walking, you know, uh, uh, about uh, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities and powers and rulers of darkness in high places. And the thing is, the problem is a lot of things that we, you know, I, I look at a lot of stuff and it, it and I look at people yes. and systems, hey, hey, you know, hey, 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 that's me. going on. There's a lot of systems uh, are happening that are causing people to fall, get into error, you know. And it's like, but, you know, a, a bad situation happened where I'm at. Uh, so happy today. The thing is, you know, uh, you know these teenagers came, um, came in and shot you know, uh, uh, a, a ma man and a woman and with their child there, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And, you know, a lot of heinous crimes are going on in a lot of places, but a heinous crime happened where I'm at in Brinkton. And a problem is what's going on here is that, you know, it, it, people are, it, of course, saying that, oh, you know, it's the people, let's it, go it, it charge these there. young kids and throw them in jail. Let's more likely throw everybody in jail or let's get rid of everybody. Let's give them the death penalty or let's go do this. Let's go do that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all kind of uh, negative things are uh, 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 do all kind of negative things towards these people that do these wrong things. And the thing is, what's going on that, you know, uh, according, of course, the church, um, uh, forgetting this reality called uh, uh, the more likely Ephesians 6, you know, 12 rule. You know, we wrestle <laughs> not against flesh and blood, but principalities and powers and rules of darkness in this world and spiritual wickedness in high places. That always irritated me. It always irritated me as a Christian when I see all these, you know, stuff happen, bad stuff happening in the world and how naive or more likely nonchalant, you know, the church look at the ideal of uh, spiritual warfare and not seeing and not really identifying the reasons of why all this negative stuff is happening in this world, you know, they, you know, they are like, you know, it, it's just, it's like they're not, you know, addressing the, the, the reality. And, you know, and it's like these, it's, it's so weird that, you know, the church don't, to me, doesn't really, the way they structure, they don't really uh, go against Satan. Because the thing is, first of all, you know, they're operating a system of division of these denominations. And, 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 and that always will always irritate me about ch the church system in this time. I mean, what it doesn't make sense going against a, a team of Satan in his kingdom of darkness and a church divided trying to go against him. It does not make sense to me. That will never make sense to me. Um thing is um the thing is i see and but the thing is the world is more likely taking advantage taking advantage of people concerning that you know in this crazy you know world with the god of this world satan blinding people and of darkness you know what i'm saying make put positioning 
leaning people in a position to do so much heinous and bad things that I hear, you know, on the radio and reports everywhere else. And the sad part about it that, you know, it, it, it's, so, it's so much leaning towards that, ooh, let's punish this person. Let, I mean, let's punish this person. Let's kill this person. And let's make the world a better place. Then, you know, understanding that there is an evil forces that are unseen that are positioning these people to do heinous things it's just i see the balance of it and and it's just like and i believe some see the balance of it but they're just ignoring it and they're just playing games in the world system as well the church you know just playing games with the system that people are losing their lives and taking everybody else's life and that Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And the thing is, it's just a sad of how I see the system. And, but what irritates me is how people are ignoring the system. You know, how, how, how people are ignoring the ideal of it. And they're trying to be an image of solution. And knowing that their solution is not going to solve the situation concerning uh, of, of they're doing it for the sake of, of, of course, image and being seen as somebody that's going to help somebody. And it's like nobody's not really calling it out that much. But shout out to Joseph, man. <laughs> but it's just, it's just crazy that, you know, how people are being... And people that are Christians are being so naive to this stuff. But, you know, look, I'm just going to put, you know, Jesus out here. My boy, Jesus. Jesus showed that to me, he showed the ideal of we're not supposed to be wrestling against flesh and blood. And this ideal of the woman being caught in adultery. Because the thing is, she was caught in the middle of adultery. You know what I'm saying? He, she was caught more likely doing the crime. And, of course, the Pharisees, you know what I'm saying, say stoner. And, you know, and when I, you know, when I uh, see people, you know, get in crimes and everything, do these crimes bad crimes. or good, I mean, bad or small crimes, I mean, meant to say good, bad or small crimes, bad, whatever, they're big or they're small. And I see, you know, the, I hear the law says, you know, uh, get rid of the person you know how our laws is now you know the death penalty you know what i'm saying and i hear jesus you know echoing i the, I, I see jesus writing down on the ground i mean I, I see him writing down on the ground and you know and the thing is people i just think not seeing that because here's the thing that jesus one thing knows uh because he's from heaven that he know whoever his enemy is, is unseen. You know what I'm saying? He recognized, he of course know that his enemy is unseen. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, the problem I have concerning this church system, the way it's developed, and how they're not like, you know, to me, uh, not enough going to the aid of certain people or, or not exposing the darkness that's really causing this confusion and conflict and chaos to continue or exposing the uh, principalities and powers and rules of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places, the lack of their doing that, it just gets on my nerves. And and because, you know, we're supposed to be all about winning a war. If you truly all about being a Christian, you, you have enlisted in an army. You have enlisted in uh, a war that you're supposed to put on the whole armor of God to go against these forces and uh, is the thing is you know it's not enough people to you know uh protest the reality of the truth that tell that churches need to be about you know what i'm saying no this uh, this person is, is not about the flesh and blood that's committing the crimes it's about this and that it's about this and that and it's not a firm stance on that you know what I'm saying? It's not a firm stance that we say, no, this person didn't, you know, m more likely wasn't convorced, just be all about them. It's, a, it's, it's this Satan that's trying to, you know, do, you know, bring, you know, uh, convincing him to do such a thing. And, you know, it's time for, you know, 
us the church to do more because we're supposed to be doing more than what's going on right now you know and we're not supposed to be you know um, you know uh, doing something you know and we're supposed to be doing more than this and that's the problem I, I, it, it, it irritates me when I look at two second Corinthians uh, 4 and I see how you know uh, how Paul talks about don't shake the table Robbie uh, we see uh, uh, they um how how these how the church you know what I'm saying are not seeing the reality of what um what we are not really performing up to par to what we're supposed to and it's just you know like nobody's not addressing enough to the Thank idea you. they just like you know you. still throw scriptures oh bless the lord everything's okay and everything is all right and everything's going on bless the lord and and i pray and you know they're ministering across the world and ministering the conference but they're not confronting the reality of the truth of what's really going on in the world that really irritates me and you know a person you know uh yesterday invited me to a church and I'm like you know I can't it's like no I cannot sit me I'm just speaking for me I cannot sit in uh, this place I cannot it will irritate the living daylights I I was irritated you know going to my um uh Houston family reunion church it irritated me I was really irritated bad you know, they don't know, but I'm irritated at the position of where the church is at. You know what I'm saying? And how how much a dismal position it is and how much people don't really care about the facts that we are not really fulfilling the true will of God. And we're not really playing up the par of what's going on and people don't care. They just want to throw on their suits, they throw on their dresses and act nonchalantly that we're not really performing up the par. It drives me nuts. And, you know, this message, you know, I, look, God is going to change the game. This Everything's going to change very soon. But the thing is, look, don't be surprised. I mean, look, if you're in church and as what Peter says, that judgment is going to come to the church. Look, it has to come. This is embarrassing to me because we represent the winner. We represent Jesus Christ. We represent the guy that won on the cross and we are losing and allowing Satan to really get all his dominion to deceive so many people in darkness to do all this crazy stuff I mean it's nuts but it's I've been just meditating it's just seeing the playing field seeing how every well the war field no more playing field war uh, field it's, it's just ridiculous it's ridiculous that we are not at the upper hand against darkness but of course God had his plan God has a plan very soon that's going to change all that but look I just want you know y'all to understand you know look we could all this negative stuff going on in the world could have been done properly could have been done right if we follow according to the word of God everything would have been worked out but when you busy trying to make an image of yourself try to make it all about you and you know the thing is I got to say this at the end of this I just I feel irritated y'all know what say um you know to me I don't see no difference between a politician and a uh, 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 the church system I don't I don't see no difference because I believe because it's a religious system that's going on in church that you know I don't see no difference because the politicians they say they say this is gonna do this we're gonna do help this we're gonna have this and nothing doesn't get help and we are saying we're gonna represent Jesus Christ and we're gonna do this and nothing's not really being helped but the thing is look this is it's time for change it's time for true change it's time for God's kingdom come and God will be done on earth as it is in heaven to get this world to the better place that it's yeah. supposed to be and you know I just hope I don't know at the top of this message but the thing is we'll stop wrestling against this flesh and blood and start really truly about principality fighting and exposing the kingdom of darkness and exposing what's really going on and about truly loving people you know uh, according to Matthew 5 40, 44 you know what I'm saying 
But that's the message. I hope you got the understanding. To God be the glory and forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.